All right, hello, and welcome back yet again to even more Ocarina of Time with a mouse. Last we left off, we were about to head to the Temple of Time. Have Link become an adult. Lock the mouse. There we go. That's better. Alright, let's do this. Time to get to the Ocarina of Time. I wonder what would have happened if I was in the water. I'll have to try that the next time I'm playing Vanilla Ocarina of Time. See how that works out. So Ganondorf's response to a child wielding a letter opener and a piece of tree bark is to just blast the kid aside. Just, you know, big old magic blast right to the head. Letter opener and tree bark. Like, at most, the Kokiri sword is a steak knife. Maybe a dagger. Link really poses no threat here. But now you just go blasting the kid in the head. Nice one. Nice one. Link's like, I'm, I'm gonna get you one day. One of these days. It's a very, very stern face there. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Give me the flute. I want the flute. There we go. And as soon as Link touches the flute, he starts tripping out. He just goes somewhere else for a little while. <laughs> Imagine leaving a message telepathically through a flute. Like, what? If you're reading this, I'm already gone. <laughs> You know, if we play it backwards, it'll slow time down. And if we play it twice, each note twice, we get to go ahead half a day. Except not yet. We have to wait for the sequel for that one. All 
Ah, uh, yes. You the, you, t- you take the ocarina of time, play the song of time in front of the altar of time, and the temple of time to unlock the door of time to take the 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 sword uh, to travel forward in time. A lot of time. You know what? I think I already made that joke when I did Master Quest. <laughs> It's okay, people reuse content all the fucking time. Yeah, I just figured I wouldn't be able to do that. It's fine. Onward! Gosh, I cannot wait for the Space World Restoration. This reminded me of that, because, like, there's different camera angles for the Temple of Time that, that have been recreated. It's gonna be freaking cool. I really can't wait for it. You know, it's gonna be awesome to see all that stuff. I hope someday we can find, like, a full ROM probably sometime early 1998 would be good because then it'd be like a complete more complete rom be able to actually piece together a cohesive game with it oh my gosh i would love that i did not mean to select the nuts i didn't mean to select the milk i meant the ocarina there we go Sometimes I wish I could play this game again for the first time. Experience all the, you know, magic and wonder of it. By now I've played through it so much, it's all very familiar. It feels like, you know, home in a way. <laughs> but just once, it would be amazing to just experience it for the first time again. Be absolutely wowed by the story, by everything, how expansive the world is. something else. If there was any Zelda game I wish I could experience for the first time again, it would be this one. This has got to be by far my favorite Zelda game. I know I said I liked Skyward Sword a lot, and I do. I still like Skyward Sword, but... The more I've been playing this game, playing randomizers, playing ROM hacks of it, looking forward to the space world restoration the more i realize just how much i love ocarina of time and how like truly special it is to me here we go To experience something like this for the first time. That twist there that you learn all this time. Getting the stones, getting the ocarina, opening the door of time. All of it for naught. You weren't protecting anything. Pulling that sword didn't save anyone. It made things go to shit. Fast. <laughs> Just realize that twist. That you opening that door is what allowed Ganondorf in.
sorry, I'm just sort of thinking, sitting back and just... Don't be alarmed, look at yourself. And then just that sudden reveal of... So that's how he becomes an adult. Because like in all the trailers and the promos and even on the title screen, you see Link as an adult, you see all of that. And you're like, what the hell, I'm playing as a kid. And then just suddenly... Oh. <laughs> Gosh, I love this game so fucking much. And it's gonna be so amazing to see some of the things... So, some of the things that have been, like, mysterious for me about the beta and just actually be able to do them. Things like the medallions being usable as items. Stuff like that. It is gonna be... <laughs> that restoration is probably gonna be one of the biggest things of all time. I'm not good with words. <laughs> it's probably gonna be... It's gonna be an amazing ROM hack, that's for damn sure. I kind of wonder if ever at a point in development you were supposed to go through a light temple and save Rari. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. I kind of wonder if ever there was a point where, you know, you meet him earlier in your journey to then have to save him. Something like that. Or if he was always, if it was always planned that there wouldn't be a light temple, that there would be this would be it. It would just be Rare. Just there. In the Chamber of Sages, and that's the only place you meet him. Add their might to your own. It's a little leftover from when you could actually use the medallion. Kind of wondering how the elemental arrows are going to function. That's going to be really interesting to see. I'm super excited for all that. Here we are, seven years later. No more slingshot? No more boomerang? Aw, oh, damn. Alright, this is where we learn the prelude of light, isn't it? I think. I hope. so interesting to think how much the Giga Leak and the Overdump changed our perspective on a lot of things about the early development of this game and how we learned a lot from it. We learned a lot about how wrong we were about a lot of different aspects of things. We learned about how right we were about some things, like medallions having functionality, stuff like that originally being an ice medallion and a wind medallion instead of, you know. The Legend of the Temples? You mean the Legend of Zelda?
See, we get told about the Forest Temple, so we're very clearly supposed to go there first. But do we have to? Is the question. And that's what we're going to find out here. I want to find out if we have to. I know I need to go to Kakariko first. We need to get the hook shot. But do we have to go there first? Or can we just go right on in to the, uh... <gasps> We just head straight for the ice. Not ice temple. What the fuck was it called? And we just head straight for the ice cave. And then, you know. I think we can. But we're gonna find out pretty soon here whether we actually can or not. I think we can. I hope we can, because that's going to be fucking cool as hell if we can. But let's go get our hook shot. And a few extra little pieces of heart here and there. We can get ourselves heart container. Wouldn't that be lovely? How many do we have with us? Yeah, okay. Uh, what are the ones I'm thinking of that we can get really quick? There was... Yeah, there's two in Kakariko, and then there's one on Death Mountain, and one in Kakariko Graveyard. That's what I'm thinking of. Alright, let's do it. But we can't get the ones on Death... on Kakariko... proper until we get the one in... The, the hook shot. Here we go, slowly but surely. Onward and outward. Let's grab that egg first. Hi. We spoke like seven years ago. Dampy's grave. Dompe. However, however it is spelled. And we're not gonna go in the hut this time. We don't need to. We're good. Here we go. And there we go. Another heart piece. What? Okay, I guess I grabbed too close to the edge. Alright, let's let's race you. This is gonna be fucking hell on my wrist. Oh fuck. Already I'm screwing up. Uh fuck. No, no, Link, don't go that way. Go, 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 make it. Uh, 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 I hate this. I am in pain. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Okay, I made it through that one. Oh, shit. That's right, there's three dice here. Go into which one? That one? Right. Okay. 
I just completely missed it and went to the wrong way. Come on. Come on. You can make it. I'm not going to be able to do this on under a minute, so I'm not even going to try for the second prize of this, because I think it's just a hard piece anyways. I mean, I know it's entirely possible to do it in under a minute, but like... Not like this. Not at all like this. Fuck. Fuck. Come on. Oh my goodness. I made it. We don't even need to go to Death Mountain if we're careful of this and if we actually can make it to the windmill. Uh, piece of if we can't, that's fine. We can just go to Death Mountain and grab that one. Right. There we go. Long of time. I'm surprised I got that on the first try. I wasn't expecting that. if we're going to be able to do this or not. Making all bets. Sweet! We don't have to go up Death Mountain yet. But I do want to put you on that. And then I do want to go talk to you. What the heck? What the heck, guys? What the heck? Oh, that must have been me. This is not easy to play. With, with the button layout I have. <laughs> it's a little trickier than most. back in time and drain the well. We can't quite do it now. We have to wait a little bit first. Okay, let's see if we can get up there. No. Can I get onto that roof? If I can get onto that roof, I should be fine. Oh, we're golden. Come on, a little bit down. Sweet. Hey, man. I have... Piece of heart. Thank you, and then one more. Gotta go. Gosh. Okay, can I get there from here? No, I might need to go down. And then up onto a different roof. Probably the skull to a low roof, I think. Yeah, and then I go up there, and then in. And that'll be another heart piece. Heart container. Easy. Super easy. Whew. Thought that was out of range, but I guess not. Huh. 
in we go, and there we go. One more heart. All right, now now comes the fun part where we see if we can actually go to Ice Cavern. If we can do that, then that is going to be so fucking cool. Like, just absolutely the coolest. Because I think with the hookshot, we should have everything that we need for that. I don't think we need the hammer. We need something to hit switches. But we can use the hook shot for that. And I think that's really it, honestly. And if we can do that, then we get the iron boots before the fucking forest temple. I want to do this out of order. If I can do this out of order, I will do this out of order. You know? And I think that's gonna be great. Also, I can do a thing here. So I've learned that there are actually grottos for the Song of Storms that you can do stuff with, like, uh... And then a whole little blop here. There's also one in Hyrule Castle. Oh, please, they're just gonna end up selling me red and green potions. I don't need those. I'm good. You can take your potions elsewhere. Oh no. Oh well. I guess I gotta go and defeat those Octoroks first. Speaking of Octoroks, have I mentioned the uh, Space World 95 uh, 97 demo yet? <laughs> Only about every other sentence. Alright, you know what? Oh, screw you. No- oh my gosh, I barely made it there. Alright. Okay, we're good. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be... Brown dwelling Octorox and shit. It's gonna be cool. Alright, and we can just jump down here. We can walk in this water now. Sweet! It's the miracle of life! Further. We're almost there. A long, arduous walk. Up Zora's Domain. Or up uh, Zora's River to get to Zora's Domain. Doesn't have to be, but I chose to play this game with this control setup. Alright, let's see here. Are we going to be able to do this? I think we are! <laughs> Which means we'd also end up getting Serenade of Water before... <laughs> before Minu out of the forest. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to see if we can do this. <laughs> I mean, of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to? There's really, like, as far as I can tell, there is no reason I shouldn't be able to do this. Just, I, I've never seen anyone do this before. 
I'm hoping I'm right. I can get in there, that's for sure. King Zora is still out of the way. Oh my gosh. Oh my fucking gosh. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my god, I can actually do it. We're gonna do it. We are so gonna do this. This is gonna be hard, for sure. Because not only am I on ice with ice controls. like when it's close. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I fucking did it. Ice cave before fucking... No way. No way that I'm actually supposed... To, that I'm actually gonna be able to do this and get the fucking iron boots. <laughs> I mean, I see no reason why not. There shouldn't be a reason why not. Oh, god damn it, that doesn't help at all. Awesome. Go, go. Stop it. Stop damaging me. I command you. Damn it. Okay, there we go. I mean, really, there should be no reason why we shouldn't be able to do this. There should be every reason that we can do this. Unless, of course, there's, like, one eye statue somewhere in here that's gonna prevent us from doing this. Yeah, okay, where's the last one? Around here somewhere, I know that. But where? up here or something? Where is it? Oh, it's up there. I see it. Fuck. the wrong goddamn buttons. It's okay if we die. I have two fairies and a fucking jug of milk. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. And I will be using one of those fairies pretty soon, honestly, because I need to to get the... Are you kidding me? No. This is this is tricky. This is by far the hardest part of this game aside from the fucking chickens. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Damn it, 
why did I stop? Oh, I should probably stop because I stopped moving the goddamn mouse. I was gonna ask why did I stop. I know damn well why I stopped. There we go. Oh, right, this section to get the blue fire. It's a lovely one, ain't it? easy enough to get. I'll drink one of the Lon Lon milks and grab a fucking uh, thing. Oh my god, this is... I don't need... I don't know if there's a key in there or not. If there is, I'll find out later. But I don't really need... I don't really need the piece of heart that's in this room. Yeah, nah. Okay, so. First up, let's drink the milk. Ah, oh, damn, there's two servings. Shit, that, that's a useful thing. And we just had to throw it away. Oh, because we need some stupid blue ice. I mean, fire. There we go. Okay. I probably don't need the ocarina. I only really need one of these open at a time, and I don't see myself really using the, uh, bombs too much. Oh, that was close. Alright, so where are we going through? Probably through there. I would guess. different in Master Quest, by the way. I mean, no shit, but like, in the randomizer I've been doing, it's been using, uh, once or twice it used the Master Quest version of this dungeon, so I'm a little bit more used to that. Alright, so we need to go over there. I 
probably get to that from here if I'm careful enough. Which, knowing me, I both am and I'm not. Fuck, no. Don't. Don't you dare. Well, I can. I probably need to push it that way, anyways, right? I think. Come on. Go. Grab it. Grab it. No, not that. Thank you. No, I didn't want you to climb up it, Link. I wanted you to grab it and push it and then climb up to there. No, now I want you to climb and then I want you to climb up there. No, 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 no. no. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then I'm assuming I need to get to that one there. Do that. I gotta go over here. I'm gonna go up there and get another blue fire simply because I can. So why not? Might as well. I mean, I'm gonna need some extra. Like, yeah. Oh, I wanna grab. That's fine. There we go. And then that goes through there, I think. Probably. Possibly. No, it doesn't go all the way. Ah, uh, I gotta, I gotta dump it off into the abyss. And then I think a new one comes up. Yeah, good. Good. Exactly what I need. And then we can just go right over there. Gotta dump this off. Grab the thing of blue ice in case I need another one of it. Blue fire, I mean. Careful not to fall off. As we make our way over here. Push it that way. One, two more pushes. Two more little pushes. Right there. Oh boy. We are actually gonna get the iron boots here, aren't we? I swear if I get to the end of this and find that there's just a fucking eye switch, I'm gonna be pissed. Because I did all this work. The game should reward me for going out of my way and doing this shit. Really, it should. I should be rewarded for sequence breaking like this. I mean, it's a Zelda game. It's 
combat exploration. Oh my gosh, I actually can get the iron boots here. Holy shit! And I have the fucking iron boots! <laughs> and I get the serenade of water. And I'm gonna get to go into the fucking water temple. <laughs> oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! The fuck? <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Yeah, sure, talk to me about the, the water temple. I haven't even set foot in the forest temple. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now teach me the serenade of water before the fucking menu at a forest. I'm gonna want to see that on my status screen, because that is something weird to look at. The idea of playing, you know, just vanilla Ocarina of Time. And getting both the iron boots and serenade of water before even setting foot in the fucking forest temple. Before even going to the sacred forest meadow, no less. <laughs> Unless, of course, you know, the game just freezes here and soft blocks because it doesn't know what the fuck to do. Which it shouldn't. It shouldn't soft lock. Because. Oh my god, it went blank for a moment, so I was scared as hell. <laughs> Don't do me like that. You really fucking scared me there, game. Played me. Well played. Well fucking played. I want to see if I can get the Megaton Hammer. If I can get to the Megaton Hammer before the bow, that's gonna make the Forest Temple a breeze. We're also gonna... It's still just gonna be trippy, even, to see me, because... You know I'm fucking gonna wear the... <laughs> you know I'm gonna wear the fucking blue tunic to the... Uh, forest temple. Since I'm gonna have it here. I do have one more blue fire, correct? Yes, I do. And I only need one. Let's go... Go free King Zora. And you know what? I'm gonna at least try for that uh, piece of heart.
Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. I don't need to take this back. I'm just gonna swim. I gotta say, I feel cool as shit being able to do this. Oh fuck, can I not get up there? Oh no, I'm just on the wrong side. I need to go around the big block of the block. This is fucking epic. <laughs> I recently uh, saw Ego Raptors old Link to the Past versus Ocarina of Time video and one of the complaints he made is the game is very linear and tells you where to go. I think I just disproved that point of this game being more linear because sure for your first time playing it it tells you where to go and that's good for new players that's great for people wanting to get into the game. A lot of something that's a big turnoff for a lot of gamers or people getting into video games nowadays and probably back then was not knowing what the fuck to do. Just going into a game going, okay, where do I go? What do I do? No idea. But having the option to be able to do stuff like go and get the uh, Zora's tunic and the iron boots before the forest temple or entering the water temple before the forest temple is really freaking cool. And I love it. Like, like, look at this. This is great. And you can bet your ass. Look at that. Normally, you don't see that. You don't have the Zora tunic before the goddamn <laughs> Koran's tunic. And I am just floored by the possibility of this, that this is even possible. All right, Water Temple, here we go. Do this. <laughs> oh, damn. This means we aren't going to be able to cheese the Dark Link boss fight. Okay, I wanted to put on those Kokiri boots and just swim right on in. There you go, Water Temple. I don't know if any of that is, if it's necessary to, uh... Alright, let's do this. Uh, I have no idea my way around this dungeon. And it's... Sure as hell gonna be different than when I was trying to do the Master Quest one. And I haven't been in the Water Temple since, so bear with me. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but then again, who the hell does when they're in the Water Temple? That's right, no one. No one knows what they're doing in this dungeon. 
Can I push it forward at all? No, I can't. We're gonna go in here, see what's in here. Nothing really. All oh, right, we need to pull that out so that we can push it there and go back in there. So let's see what's in here and how we get in here. Right, okay. So we do not want to be here yet. We can't do anything here. I think I am gonna leave this here though for now. So uh I'm gonna keep streaming. I'm enjoying this a lot. My internet hasn't cut out yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going. Uh but if you are watching this from YouTube, thank you very much. It means a lot. Uh feel free to check out Twitch uh Discord down below. Uh I have those there, you know. If you want to catch these live, see me flip the fuck out at chickens, or <laughs> just lose my mind at the fact that I can go in the water temple before the forest temple. I love that so much. I am so excited for that. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, I hope you have a good one. This has been, like, really fucking fun to do this. I mean, it's such an unconventional control scheme, but I've... Uh, I'm not even noticing that anymore. It just feels like I'm playing Ocarina of Time, trying shit out, trying new stuff out. I mentioned earlier this episode that if there was any game I wish I could experience for the first time, it would be this one. And being able to do this game out of order like this has sort of given me that sort of breath of fresh air with it and that sort of wonder of, okay, what can I pull off here? What can I do that the game doesn't expect me to do? And I love that so much. So it's sort of like playing it for the first time in a different way. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you around. Uh, hope you all stay safe. Have a good one.